Hello everyone, I am Amod and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, we will learn to publish a local repository from VS Code to a GitHub remote repository. So basically, I am going to create a project in VS Code which will be a local repository. In fact, local Git repository and those codes I will push to a GitHub remote repository. And for this, I am going to use a GitHub extension provided by VS Code which is built in. Git is a version control system which tracks code changes and allows collaboration. And GitHub is a cloud based platform that hosts and shares Git repositories. So, in short, whatever files we are going to create in this project within my VS Code that is local. If I want to share that code with my team members, then I need to publish those files or local repository to a cloud based git repository like github we have other cloud based services like gitlab bitbucket etc so let's get started so i have opened an empty folder in vs code and now i'm going to add some files so i will click on this icon and i will name this file as hello world.js and here i will simply have one console.log hello World. After this, again I am going to create one more file and this time I will name it as hello world again dot js. Here also I am going to add simple log line to log hello world again. So basically I have two files in my project. It will close all these files. Now I want to publish this local repository to a github repository. And since we are going to use GitHub extension, so I am not going to create any repository in my GitHub profile as of now. Just see the magic. Now move to next step. So we have files and we have one icon here called source control. Click on it. Here you see one option. The folder currently open does not have a Git repository. That means whatever folder I have opened in VS Code, that is not a Git repository. You can initialize a repository which will enable source control features powered by Git. So whatever folder we have here, this is normal folder or normal repository. If you want to make this repository as a Git repository, we need to initialize first. We need to explicitly say that this repository is a Git repository. That is the first step we need to do. This we achieve using git init command. But here we don't need to run any command. We will click on this option again and just select this initialize repository. Now you can see something is happening and we see something like repositories, changes and then some changes here as well. So let's understand this one by one. So we know that we have two files hello world.js and hello world again.js. And you see one character here, U, which stands for untrack. For both the files, we have untrack. If you mouse over on the file, you can see it is giving the file path with untrack. So what is untracked file in a Git? So we have already initialized the repository as a Git repository. Now we have multiple files there. So Git will not track the changes in a file unless we say them to track. That's why initially the status of the file is untracked. That means git is not tracking. So if you want git to track the file, tracking means what changes is happening in that file, then we need to click on this plus icon. And you can see this tooltip says stage changes. So let's click on plus sign. Now you can see we have one more stage or section called stage changes and within this location we have hello world again .js file and if you see here it has character a which stands for added or index added that means now whatever changes was made that is in staging area and git is tracking the file i will show you in some time let me click on plus sign for the another file as well now, both the files are added into staging area. 
or stage changes. Now let's go to your repository and open hello world.js and I'm going to change some text here. Maybe I will add an exclamatory mark. So basically file is changed now. And if you see something here, it shows three here. So if you click on this, you can see under the changes, we have hello world.js file again. And if you see this time, the status of this file is modified. And same thing, we can see hello world.js within the stage changes. That means whatever file status was added into the staging area, from that stage, it has been changed. Or let me rephrase this sentence. We added hello world and we added to staging area. Then we modified the content. So it is showing that whatever was added, that has been changed now. If you simply double click on this changes, you can see what was added and what was changed. But if you open the file, which is in staging area, then you can see it is the old changes only. But if you open this file, which is under changes area, here you will see the latest update. So basically the task of Git is to track the changes, which it is performing well here. So now if you want to stage modified files, then again you need to click on this plus sign so that hello world.js file with the updated changes will be added to staging area or stage changes. If you double click on this file, you can see the updated changes here. It will close all these files. So basically you saw how file status was changed from untracked to added. Then we modified the file and then we added it again. So now for both the files, we have the status as index added. Next stage is to commit the changes. Committing means you are saying that whatever changes were done, I need to commit final save you can say. Anyway, you can change the content anytime. But as of now, what was added or changed, I want to commit that. So to commit the changes, we need to give a message which is called commit message. So maybe I can give the message like first commit. You can give any meaningful message and click on commit. So now we don't see any changes section or stage changes section here. And we see one option called publish branch. Let me add a new file here. Maybe hello lyrite.js. I'm not going to add any content here. And if you click on this source control icon, here you see the same thing what was earlier. And below here you can see one graph and whatever message we have given, that message coming here. And if you click on it, you can see two files were added as part of this commit. So for the new file also, we need to click on plus sign so that it will be added to a staging area and then put the commit message like second commit and click on this icon. So now in my local repository, we have two commits. But still it is in my local itself. I need to publish these changes to a GitHub remote repository so that my team members can also see what code I have written. Since VS code comes with GitHub extension, so we see this option publish branch. This you can use only if you want to post to a GitHub repository. For other cloud-based services like GitLab or Bitbucket, we need to use some other way that I will cover in next video. So let's click on this publish branch. Then it will ask you to sign in in GitHub. You can see the message, the extension GitHub, which is by default added to your VS code, wants to sign in using GitHub. So click on allow. So it will open the sign in page of GitHub and here you need to provide your email address and password. Make sure that you have GitHub profile. If not, you need to create it. So let me log in. So after login successfully, it is saying that open Visual Studio code, click on it. So we have successfully logged in into GitHub account using GitHub extension in, the, in VS code. Now on the top you see publish to GitHub private repository and my username is amod-mahajan and this is the repository name in the remote. This is coming automatically based on your local repository name. And in the second option we have publish to GitHub public repository with the same name. That means when you manually create a repository in your GitHub, then we can select either public or private. Same option it is asking you here. 
you want to create this repository as a public or private so i'm going to use a public repository so select this option and you can see it is showing published to github uploading files and now after some time it says successfully published the amud dash mahajan this is my remote repository name to github if you click on this open on github and here we should see all files here now if you want to add a new file in your local repository let's quickly add a file maybe after pushing dot js now go to your source control and drag the file give the commit message like third commit and click on commit button now instead of publish branch we see the option like sync changes that means whatever we have in local let's push it again so that in your remote repository also it will be updated file so click on this sync changes it says this action will pull and push commits from and to origin slash main so if you see here main is the default branch so it is saying that it will pull and push to this branch so let's click on ok and it is syncing changes and once it's done we should be able to see my new file into github remote repository and i think it's done go to your github and refresh we see another file has been added after pushing.js so if you're using github then it is really easy to use github extension and you can pull and post the changes easily but i want to cover one more important point here you know that i have logged in to github using github extension and if you click on this profile icon you can see your login detail if you sign out from here so let's click on sign out and go to your packages and let's create one file or let me add some changes here itself so console.log signed out now i have some changes go to your source control let's say it's modified click on plus so that modified changes will be added to staged changes and now i can give the commit message like fourth commit click on commit button now it shows sync changes and if you click on it but before that if you click on this profile icon you can see it shows you are not signed in to any accounts so let's click on this thing changes and it says the same message as previous click on ok and it is trying to sync up so you can see sync up is completed and if you come here and refresh this repository and open this after pushing.js then you can see changes has been added you have signed out then also changes were pushed this is because we have this public repository but if you have private repository then it was not possible you can give it a try so instead of selecting public select private and then log out and then try to publish new changes then see what happens so in that case you need to log in again and if you click on this account icon here we don't see any option to log in again so for that go to extension and here we have one extension called github pull request search for it and install now if you go to your profile icon and click on it it gives you one option sign in with github to use github pull request you click on it then it will ask you to sign in again i was already signed in so it is asking me to continue let's click on continue click on open visual studio code and now if you click on this profile icon you can see you have been logged in again why did i explain this because i logged out purposely and i was not able to find any way to log in back unless i create a new repository so i found this alternative and i used it so that's all in this video i hope you like this video but still if you have any doubt please comment on this video thank you everyone